Hello. Um, I just am really bored right now. Oh my god, my face is so white compared to the rest of my body. I just tried out like a new, well, it's not new, I've had it for a while. It's like a MAC Pro Longwear foundation that I don't use because I always think that it makes my face like really red looking, but it's actually way whiter than my skin. Anyways, it is a nice fall day, October 24th. Tomorrow is my baby's birthday. He's gonna be 12. And I cannot believe it. Every time I think about it, I feel like to cry. <laughs> Just because it feels like yesterday I was in the hospital. I had him. Everybody had gone home. It was just me, Nick, and Talem. And freaky. It sounded like somebody was trying to come in the back door. Uh, it seemed like me, Nick, and Talem were the only ones left in the hospital. Everybody had gone home, and it was my first time being alone with him, and I was so scared. Um, Talem is my first son, or oh, only son, <laughs> what am I talking about? Um, and yeah, he, I was freaked out, like, uh, I didn't know what to do if he cried, I didn't know what I was going to do. If anything bad was going to happen, I always thought that something bad was going to happen. But no, he uh, he turned out to be such a sweet boy. Like, whenever we're watching movies or anything like that, he if it's a sad part, he will cry with me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I look at it as a, I look at it as a good thing because, I mean... He's going to be a soft-hearted boy. Like, he hates violence. Stupid glare on my glasses. Sorry. He hates violence. And I don't know. I just think that he was uh, raised to be, like, raised in a proper way. Um, yeah, so it's his birthday tomorrow. I just wanted to kind of do a little video about how I'm feeling lately. And, uh about my son and stuff like that um i don't know tell tell a story maybe um i just told one i don't know where i'm going with this video i just thought like before i do my project i'm working on a five page project right now for my uh class but um yeah so isaac is like tr uh Try, gonna be like adopting him soon um he said sometime after his 12th birthday um as for his dad like his biological dad he's not in the picture i mean i would really like him to be in the picture and this is where like a lot of people don't understand because i know that people will look at me and think that i'm a bad parent because I somewhat don't want Talem and Nick in the same room together. I know that sounds really bad, but hear me out. So, back to when Talem was first born. Um, Talem was crying a lot. He was a colic baby. Um, and he was always crying. Um, he didn't even, like, latch on to my breasts like when I was breastfeeding him I had a hard time breastfeeding like it was just a very like stressful uh pregnant like first time like having a child and stuff like that so he would always be crying and Nick would be carrying him and he would like you know carrying him like this and he would like spank him lightly like you know and I'm like what are you doing and the nurse is in the room with us and she was like you're you know, babies like that age don't know any better. Like, um, you shouldn't be spanking him. And I'm like, yeah, Nick. Like, why are you, like, what are you trying to do? Like, that's, uh, even I knew as a first time parent that that was wrong. Talon was only like a couple days old. So I don't know if, I'm pretty sure that that nurse told somebody in the hospital because a couple weeks later we had a home visit from I don't know if they were social workers or what. I can't remember. But I know that we had a visit from two ladies. They came to visit our home. They looked around to see like how we were doing. And they told me that 
they were there to make sure that I was adjusting as a parent for the first time. And like, I'm glad that they came, um, but I didn't know like that I was being watched. You know what I mean? Um, and I ca and there was like a time that uh, when we were settling in, like we, Nick and I were in a bedroom uh, basement apartment. Um, we lived below this older man who was just another story in its own completely. We lived downstairs in a basement suite and his mom would come pick me up and she'd be like, you need a break, let's go to the mall and go shopping or whatever. I'm like, okay. And I was scared to leave Talem alone with Nick. I don't know how long we were gone for, but when we got back, Talem was crying and Nick was in the window like carrying baby. Like, I, I don't even want to think about you know, what he was doing. Um, but, you know, as time went on, Nick and I, we, we had split up. Uh, Talon was only three months. Um, I had, uh, we went to get his immunization shots. And when we came back from the hospital, Talon finally fell asleep. And Nick started playing his gangster music and I got mad at him. I said, Talem just fell asleep, like, can you not? And we got into an argument and he left. Um, I was talking to my dad and my dad was in town, Prince George. And he was like, why don't you come home with me for the weekend? And I said, yes, I would love that. So I packed me and Talem some clothes and I left with my dad back to Burns Lake, BC, which is about a three hour drive. Um, so that night I didn't get a call or anything like that. I thought, you know, maybe he would wonder where we were, but he, I called the house and there was music playing in the background. By this time we'd moved, sorry. We weren't living in that suite anymore. Three months later, Taylor was three months old. Uh, we were living in an apartment. Um, and I'd called the apartment and there was music playing in the background. Um, there were, I don't know, like, I just knew that he was having a party, and I was like, what are you doing, like, and he was like, well, you left me, and I was like, I didn't leave you, I came to, ta like, I, I need a break, like, I need some help with Talem, and he was just like, whatever, you left me, and I'm like, that house is in my name, when I get back, it better not be, like, trashed, um, I stayed the whole weekend with my dad, and my dad ended up driving me back to the apartment, oh, <laughs> when I got back, when I got back, I was did not expect this. Well, I guess in a way I did, but anyways, long story short, he had gotten a girlfriend while I was gone. He trashed the place. I found condoms all over the place. Me and him got into an argument. I told him to get out because he had his cousin and then everybody there. I was just like, get out. So they all left and I didn't know what to do. Like, I was just, I, can I just say that I was very in love with this guy. Like, I met him when I was 18, 17, and I was just, like, madly in love with him. I, you know, wanted him to change, and he wanted me to change, because back then I was a heavy drinker as well. Um, we were just two young parents trying to figure out, you know, what to do. Um, but anyways, I just, I really, really loved him, and... To have like this young girl from downstairs in our apartment building come up and you know like you get introduced to her and that's his new girlfriend and my heart just was broken like I was just broken um, so I sat there crying and I was like you know what I'm gonna kick him out so I took all of his stuff like he had big huge speakers I, I took all his clothes I put it in garbage bags and I think I texted him. I think there was texting back then. I don't know how I got a hold of him, but I was like, come pick up your stuff. And he came and he was knocking on the door. He's like, let me in. I'm like, no, it's, I'm done. Like, I'm so done. You have a new girlfriend. Like, why are you living with us when you have a new girlfriend? Like, your mom lives in Prince George somewhere. Go live with her. I've had it. So he left with all his stuff. I don't know how he got it. But then his mom came to the house came to the apartment ringing the doorbell like I'm gonna charge you for abduction for kidnapping because 
she didn't like it that I'd kicked her son out and I had obviously my son with me. Um, at that time, life just went into like this big spiral and uh, I just went on a drinking binge. I'd gotten like a big tax return from, you know, all Talem's baby bonuses and it was like a big lump sum of like 2500 or something. Um, I told my dad I wanted to leave Prince George, so he helped me. Uh, I went to Smithers, BC for a little while to try to look for a place. I, I forgot who I stayed with. I think it was my auntie for a while, and then I stayed in a transition home for women. Um, it was like a really hard time, and that's not the only time I've ever been in a transition home. I've been in a couple with my son. Um, just because of like on and off, you know, like my priorities were very messed up back then. I didn't have, I didn't think that the most important thing was my son. And I know it sounds selfish. Trust me, when I think about it right now, I cry. Like I have, I've left Talem with complete strangers. Um, and I regret it. Like I do. I regret it. Big time. But. You know, like, it's a miracle that he is the way he is right now. Like, and I, there are some things that I uh, notice about him that, um, and I know where it comes from. You know what I mean? Like, when, pe when two people are arguing, when there's, like, a fight or something happening around him, he gets, like, very scared. Like, he doesn't want to be around it. He does not want to, he gets very scared. Um, like when me and I, my husband argue now, um, he slams the door. He doesn't want to hear it. Um, when his friends get into like fights at school, he runs away. Um, I remember one time when we were having a party at my dad's place, my brother had, uh, pushed his girlfriend down the stairs and Talem bolted like like a flash of lightning from the living room to the end room at our old house on the reserve and he was crying he was like I don't want to die and you know like that comes from like years of watching people argue and fight around him and he just gets scared but uh yeah like I've like looking back I just I can't believe it you know like I can't believe that I went from that to the way I am right now like it took a lot it's still it's still a struggle like it's still a struggle to my husband by the way had to hide like all the alcohol from me <laughs> um, and he put it away but I just I just don't want my son to grow up and hate me um not hate me but not like me you know what I mean because the way I feel towards my dad I don't want my son to feel that way towards me so I remember like being scared to talk to my dad all the time like I don't feel like he was a person that I would go to for um help unless it was financially but if it was for like advice or anything like that, if I needed help with something other than money, um, my dad is not the one that I would go to just because um, I don't think it would be helpful. And I was always scared of my dad, you know, after my mom had passed away. I was always scared of him. And I don't want my son to be scared of me. Um, so sometimes when I'm giving him shit like if I'm if he didn't bring the garbage out or if he didn't do the dishes like he was supposed to I mean I will like be like tail him and I will just be like you were supposed to take this out you know your dad's gonna be mad blah 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 and then I catch myself and then I start to explain to him why I'm why I really want him to do this thing that I've been asking him to do um and I'm always trying to give him a reason behind why I'm giving him crap <laughs> you know like it's not for nothing it's not because I'm trying to be mean it's because you know I want you to grow up to have responsibilities and so on so that's the way I try I try to catch myself like if I see my dad in me and I see him a lot 
if I look in the mirror and I'm like, or if I'm like really angry about something, like the my father comes out. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to make a little video. I don't know. I just like lately it's been like just school and work. Um, I have my my husband and I love my husband I talk to him about everything but sometimes I just feel like you know I don't want to <laughs> always tell him about like the way I'm feeling about like because it's I feel like I'm always repeating myself so I just decided to make a video and just like explain how I'm feeling lately tomorrow we are going to uh, Toronto to take my son we're taking him out of school for the day because it's his birthday um and we are yeah we bought him a hoverboard we bought him um this vest he's been wanting we bought him a really huge nerf gun that he loves guns um we got him like a game that doesn't come out until november but i got him like a, I reserved it for him like a pre-order i guess you would call it i don't know about this game stuff i'm like an old lady um but yeah i just wanted like uh to give him a really good birthday because he's not around his family um or his cousins um and around here his friends they're not the greatest either so um, I just wanted to give him a really good birthday um, and I'm hoping that my dad or like my sister or somebody calls him on his birthday that would be awesome um, but lately I feel like they've been going through their own stuff and you know that's fine but give me a call every once in a while you know what I mean like um, that's one of the reasons why I'm making this YouTube videos because like I usually talk to my sister about this but um lately she hasn't called me um my dad doesn't call me like he i don't know it's just a weird relationship between me and my family right now and i'm trying to understand it but anyways so i hope you like this video a little chit chat about my son and um and everything so I'm just gonna start on my paper and yeah uh, have a good day